what's up guys, my name is Javier and welcome back to Tool Craze. So a while back I reviewed the DeWalt 20 volt max wet dry vacuum and I had a few people ask me if it was better than the very similar 18 volt vacuum from Milwaukee. At the time I only tried out the DeWalt so I couldn't really say. But that all changes today as I have both on hand and I've had some good hands on action with both. So first let's start off with the similarities. And besides the yellow and red color they're both very similar. They can both suck regular debris and also water. They both have 2 gallon tanks. They both have blower ports to blow away dust and even come with the same exact accessories with built in storage. The differences are that even though they're about the same size, the Milwaukee is wider and the body is taller. This is because it houses the two nozzles inside instead of the outside like the DeWalt. I actually prefer how everything is in reach on the DeWalt as everything is on the outside ready to be picked up. The coolness factor is there on the Milwaukee with the upper lid storage compartment lid. But I think it really boils down to personal preference. One benefit I see with the Milwaukee upper lid is that the battery is sealed to prevent water from going into the battery and getting soaked. Over on the DeWalt the battery is exposed to the elements, but either way both DeWalt and Milwaukee's batteries are tanks and can withstand abuse including moisture and dust, so it's not really a big deal that one is covered and one isn't. One thing I didn't like on both was that the fuel gauge isn't readily available. Even though the DeWalt battery is exposed you still have to remove it if you want to check the fuel gauge, and things aren't any easier on the Milwaukee as you have to open the lid just to get to the battery to check the fuel gauge. You might not care about fuel gauges, but vacuums can suck batteries dry rather quickly, and I like to see just how much juice I have left before I start a project. Both have nearly identical, premium high quality hoses, and although they look short, both can expand so it's like having a much longer hose at hand. The Milwaukee hose can extend easily up to around 6.5 feet, and the DeWalt is a bit longer, and it seems to be able to expand up to 7.5 to about 8 feet. Both vacuums have a spot reserved for the hose, but I prefer the design of the DeWalt as it nicely wraps around the unit out of the way, while in the Milwaukee it just sits there on the side and flops around during transport. Both have carrying handles to easily transport and carry, but one thing I found missing on both was extensions, as you must bend down if you want to suck items off the floor. So overall, they're about the same when it comes to features. I'm not sure who came out first with the design, but whoever came out second and copied the other didn't really do much to change the design overall. They're in price the same, so there's no winner in price, as both are $99 for their cordless vacuum. One huge difference between the two is that DeWalt took a huge leap and came out with a second model, one that runs off a battery and also has a built in power cord so you can plug it into the wall for a limited runtime. It's an excellent idea if you ask me, as cordless vacuums have pretty short runtime, and it's nice to have a corded option to keep you running even when the battery runs out. Although this corded cordless model does cost a bit more as it's priced around $120, so you do pay more, but you get more features. As for performance, there's a pretty big difference between the two. I used 4.0 batteries on both, and over on the DeWalt I was able to get 28 minutes of non-stop run time, which is actually pretty good for a cordless vacuum, and over on the red side, the Milwaukee vacuum was able to get 14 minutes of non-stop use. The way I measure run time is I only count the time the vacuum is powered on and making suction. So Milwaukee got half the runtime of the DeWalt, literally, and the endurance winner here is easily the DeWalt vacuum. And what about suction and blower performance? Well let's take a look as we compare them both side by side. The first demonstration is dry pickup while both are picking up exactly the same amount of sawdust. Next comparison is wet pickup while sucking up exactly 2 gallons of liquid. Now let's move on to the blower performance, and I'll be blowing away a bit of sawdust, wood chips, and even debris such as leaves off the ground.
So here we can see that in all three tests, Milwaukee took the lead in performance. It had much stronger suction, whether it was dry pickup or wet pickup, which led to faster suction. And because of its high performance motor, the blower was much more powerful as we can see in the clips. So let's take a look at the side by side clip for a closer look at the blower. Notice how I had to bend more while using the DeWalt. So the exhauster was closer to the debris so I could push it. And I didn't have to bend as far with the Milwaukee as it had stronger performance. Obviously you're not going to be using either of these to blow debris from your driveway as neither has the performance to do it correctly. But it was simply done to demonstrate the difference of performance. These are better used for blowing off light debris such as sawdust from small spaces and tools. I would say that the wall has good suction for light duty messes. And the Milwaukee, it feels as if it was on turbo with much higher performance across the board. But the downside of all that extra power is you only get half the runtime. So the wall has good performance and easy has the best runtime. And with Milwaukee, you get higher performance, but at a sacrifice of runtime. So it really boils down to what's more important to you. For some, the DeWalt makes more sense, as it gets the job done just fine, and has excellent runtime for a coolest vacuum. For others that need to get the job done quick, get in and out, and need a vacuum for only quick pickup jobs here and there, might prefer Milwaukee. And if you need a coilless vacuum with a cord for unlimited runtime, the DeWalt is the only one with that option at the moment. So back to the question that I was asked a while back. Who's better out of these two? Well, the simple answer is that DeWalt is better when it comes to endurance as it has twice the runtime. And Milwaukee is better when it comes to performance as it's about twice as powerful. And who's better overall? Well, I think I'll leave that answer up to you. All right, guys, thanks for stopping by. Let me know what you guys think of the results and who do you think is better. Also, make sure to like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow me on social media, and for more tool info, check out the official website toolcraze.net. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.